It's time to find a friend of the four-legged variety. It's part of our weekly segment here on Daytime called Find a Friend, and it is sponsored by our friend, the Basement Doctor. And with his support, we hope to find great animals and their buddies back at the Capital Area Humane Society. Nice new homes. Joining me today, Executive Director Tom Barry. Thanks for joining me again, Tom. And once again, you've brought a pal, and you, it wouldn't be a visit without a pal. It sure wouldn't be a visit without a pal. Good morning, Gail. This is? This is Luna. Luna's a three-year-old female. Uh, it's a lab and husky mix. Actually, you can see by her beautiful eyes and the mixture. Wow, that Incredible. is amazing. Do all huskies have eyes like this, Tom? All huskies do have beautiful eyes. Yeah. They're actually nicer than ours, I think. <laughs> They're that gorgeous blue. And it's, they don't see any differently yeah. out of them, do they? <laughs> yeah, and, and Luna was a, was a surrender by a family that really couldn't take care of her anymore, we think, because of a job situation. Oh, yes. So she's I bet here, you see she's housebroken, and she's, she's beautiful. She is. About how old? And she's old? ready for adoption. Three years old. Three years old. Yeah. We've had a few pups on these last few weeks. Um, and you have gotten some nibbles. In fact, some have found forever homes. Actually, you've helped us, and so has Ron Greenbaum. We've actually had adoptions from the show. Last week, right after the show, two people showed up to adopt Duke, the boxer that was with us. And on Sunday, Duke was officially adopted, which was fantastic. Wonderful. See, it's these basement doctor scarves that are doing yeah. it. There you go. Well, you know what? We are now going into 90-degree weather all of a sudden, Tom, and I think it's a good time to remind pet owners, a little TLC for our pets. Exactly. Being careful when you're out, a lot of uh, water you know, for pets when you take them on walks. We have dog walkers, 1,600 volunteers, a lot of them are dog walkers that walk from 5.30 in the morning until 7 at night. So we limit the number of walks to about four from six a day because of the heat. We provide a lot of, t a lot of water, I should say, to the dogs, but also the dog walkers. So, so they need exercise, but not as right. quite as much when it's so hot. Not as much. And also be careful if you have your dog in a car. Even with the windows cracked, it can get hot very fast. All right. The other topic today is the importance of spaying or neutering. And um, I know we have a huge dog and cat population bigger than I even realized. Right. Uh, just to share with you, if every dog and cat had it was owned by a family, there'd actually be 60 animals in each for each person. Wow. 45 cats and 15 dogs it would take for every animal to have a home. So when you think about that, and you know, there's 310, I think, million people in the country. So that that would be that's a lot of animals. What is? So. Why do people not spay and neuter? Why do you think it keeps them from you know going through with that? Sadly, some people want to have you know puppies and all, and and for the wrong reasons sometimes. Yes. You know, when we talk about puppy mills, and that's something that we're fighting as as often as we can. Uh, but you know, some people just don't know. They don't realize the importance and our benefits too. Uh, you know. If, Another fact that may surprise you, if, if a female cat and her litter, in the next seven years, if they continue to have litters, mm -hmm. you're talking about almost half a million cats oh my in seven years. Oh, my gosh. From one? From one mother and that first litter. About 700. Yeah, in seven years, about, that is about so almost half statistic. a million cats. Yeah. So part of the reason we also suggest that people get their animals neutered is also for health reasons. Uh, the dogs can be prone to certain types of cancer if they're not neutered. Hmm. And, you know, both cats and dogs, there are less behavior problems at home. So it does work out best for the family. And if this it, will not hurt the pet? No, it doesn't hurt the pet at all. In fact, the, the pet actually is, is again, more mo emotionally stable when it doesn't have those desires, so to speak. And, you know, a cat can get out, and if, you know, if a cat's not neutered and gets out, you know, there could be a problem. And also, if you may have your dog in the backyard, but if a stray dog comes in, you may also have a problem. So we recommend that everybody get their animal spayed and neutered. Come here, Luna. Okay, so Luna can be adapted for a fee. Uh, yes, Luna can be adopted for a fee. Our fees range from about seventy dollars up to one hundred and fifty, depending upon you know the age and size of the dog. And the cats are about the same, you know, a little bit less, about fifty dollars to to adopt a cat. And that fee includes the spaying and neutered. It does. That Every pet. animal that's surrendered to us or brought in through cruelty investigations is actually spayed and neutered. I know there's a fee, and part of it is to take care of those pets that are left behind, and that's why the basement doctor, with his donations of dog food every week, those fees don't take care of all your needs. No, they don't. The basement doctor has been donating 30 pounds of food a day or a week for us, and, and that's fantastic. We use 150 pounds a day just, just for the dog, so it really works out well. Really well, if folks want well. to adopt Luna or any other pets, they can go to your website yes. and see some other pictures of other pets that are available. They sure can. They can check out the website. It's real time, so as dogs may come in or go to the adoptions floor, after the health is checked out... And and they're spayed and neutered. They're there for the looking. Please come on in and check them out. Luna looks like a great family yeah. dog. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. <laughs> it's a great You're family beautiful, dog. beautiful, aren't you? Yes, yes I love those are. eyes. Well, thank you very much, Tom, again, for being here. And, Luna, you've been a wonderful guest. Yeah. Thank you.